Hey guys, my carburetor caught on fire. It wasn't built correctly last time. So possibly when I bought it, it was a rebuilt engine. I, I think they knew less or the same as I do about engines. The timing, everything was, was wrong. Uh, like a lot of things were done uh, wrong with it. Today starts the day of the transformation. I'm gonna rebuild that 454. I just wanna have a reliable vehicle and uh, I'd rather drive this old truck than a new one. So I finally moved the dually under my porch. I want to get it done as soon as possible because uh, I got other other things in mind. Make it road worthy. I'm gonna replace the ball joints and all those steering components right there. I'm taking off the steering components, which is this one. That was going to the, the spindle over here. I just hammered it up and uh, we should have a, a new one of this anyways and on this other side it also goes to the spindle but then uh, it attaches to the frame and it attaches right here on this on this hole okay and then I just have to take it off uh, from this knot over here um, the one that I had a little trouble is the pinman and for that I already have it off as you can see it goes in here but for that I ran to this little friend it's called a pitman armor mover what it does is when it's in here you just put it with the with the pitman arm in there you put it on it and then you just start tightening it and it's gonna it's gonna bring it down so that's the the part that you're gonna need uh, i rented it o'reilly 17 bucks and that's what it's called pitman arm puller so i'm gonna take it off uh, take off all the grease I'll see what else I take off, maybe the cross member, not sure yet, but once I'm there, maybe I'll go ahead and do it. So whoever buys this truck is going to have a, a good truck for a, for a long time. So let's get to it. I removed the driver's side. As you can see, I removed the tie rods. And then now it's time to remove our caliper, our, our disc, and a draw spindle, everything, all these uh, control arms. And first, what I did uh, on the other side was remove the shock. Um, I'm using 7 8 on this side to hold it, and on this side, I'm using 11 16 that's to remove the shock. And I removed that one and I figured I, I share it with you guys. So, on this one, just like in the other side, I only removed the top because this one was pretty tight, it's pretty hard on, on me. so. I want to do it uh, once I, I take off the control arm. That's what I did on the other side. So after we remove the spring, we're going to go ahead and remove the brake line. For that one, we're going to use an, an 11, uh, 11 millimeter wrench. <clears throat> and we remove it. I remove this, uh, this lug nut over here holding it with the control arm, which is half an inch. This is a, a, half, a half an inch uh, um, uh, nut. So we remove it, we hold it in the back with another half an inch, it has a little hook that hooks on the back. We remove the caliper, for that one we have an allen wrench right here. We remove the caliper uh, and the way we do it is that we hit it, there's a little a bar holding it and we're just going to hit it to the side, it's just going to slide, slide right out, that's the one holding it. That's how it goes. It goes in like this. It has this little clip on top. All right. So now that we have this one out the way, we can remove our caliper. And we just, it's, it's basically gonna slide right out. We're going to uh, remove the disc. Our disc, it has a little hole. You can't see it, but it has a little hole in the back. We can just put our screwdriver in there and uh, loosen the cap. So we have that little clip, this little clip that's holding it. We gotta straighten it out and then pull, just pull it out from the other side. Okay, so we have it out and now we're going to remove our 
our nut right here so I don't know what size it is the one in there but this is all I had uh, in hand in hand uh, for to help me take it off which is uh, filters to remove the oil filters <clears throat> but this one's this one works okay once we have it off we just slide it out it comes out really easy okay you're gonna have a washer right here and then you have the bearings uh, right behind it that's now we will remove this cover this is gonna be a, a half inch okay, so now we remove this cover now we have our our spindle exposed it's time to to uh, remove these bolts these bolts that go uh, on the ball joints so we're gonna remove the, the lower one first we're gonna put our jack under it so this the spring doesn't come out uh, and, and hurt us or anyone around when I put the jack to, to hold the pressure that the spring is doing on, on the control arms we're gonna take out those clips that it has which is like this one but I'm gonna do that off camera because the other side was really rusted I broke some of them and I just broke them as close as I could to the hole and I just turned it and it came out perfect with no problem I just stick that screwdriver in there and it cleaned the path again again for it to put the new one on guys so far if you're liking my video if it's helping you in any way give me a like and subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll be seeing you guys around okay so i took out the clip that was holding it and i loosened it so now i'm gonna take it off and i'm just gonna hit it with my hammer then it should come it should come right out of the socket ball joint we're gonna loosen that this one all right we'll do the same thing to this one give it a little hit it'll come out the lower control arm we got two nuts over here which is these u u bolts that are holding our, our lower control arm so we're gonna remove those that is going to be a, a seven eight seven eight socket <laughs> So this one's ready to come out. I'm gonna put my nuts back in the back in this threads with the U-bolt U bolt. That way uh, we put the correct ones back on. So this is a 7-8 as well. We're gonna use the 7-8. Never let something stop you from doing what you wanna do, like for example in cars, just work with what you have. As you can see, all I have is this little jack and uh and my my small hand tools, but I would like to get better ones so I won't struggle as much but for the meantime I'm just gonna work with with what I have it's better than doing not doing nothing at all so on these control arms on the upper ones I want to mention that uh, they do have some shims and uh, what I'm doing is just leaving the shims where they are I'm not gonna remove them unless I I need to later on but it's, uh, for the meantime, I'm gonna leave them where they are. Everything was really greasy under here. So it's gonna look way better once it's clean and painted. Okay, so this one just comes right out. The nuts back in its place and just uh, just leave them there with the shims. Hey guys, uh, so thanks for watching. It's finally laid off uh, both of my sides. I got all my stuff right here gonna work on it and clean it up clean all this grease as you can see this thing was nasty it probably hadn't been cleaned down there for for a long time i don't know if i'm going to take off uh, the cross member i'll see what i decide on doing because right now i'm kind of in the middle of thinking about it but i might just remove it uh, that'll be on the next video i just wanted to upload this one and and show my progress on this dually uh, she's gonna be a clean clean mofo once it's done uh, the engine is already at uh, the shop is ready to be put up uh, put in here just getting it going thanks for watching guys